Question of the Week from the Naked Scientists. Hello, welcome to Question of the Week. I'm Adam Murphy, and this week I've been trying to get a hole in one with this question from Darren. Golf balls are dimpled to disrupt the air around the ball. As far as I can gather, this reduces the drag and allows them to fly further than they would if they were perfectly round. Why do we not see dimpled cars, aircraft and trains? If this effect is so effective for golf balls, why not use it on Formula One cars, for instance? And why wouldn't you use it on a Formula One car? You can drive a golf ball and a car, after all. So, what makes one good for dimpling and the other not? Well, Sam Grimshaw from the Whittle Jet Engine Lab here at the University of Cambridge is here to take a swing at the answer. To answer this question, I need you to picture a stream of air flowing past an object. We call the messy flow behind the object a wake, just like you see behind a boat. The drag on the object is related to the size and shape of this wake. Now, if we zoom in close to the object's surface, we see that friction slows the air down. This region of slower flow is called a boundary layer. If the overall flow is relatively slow and the object small, then the viscous nature of the air makes the boundary layer flow smooth. This flow struggles to follow a curved surface. So for a sphere, the air leaves the surface about halfway around, producing a large wake and lots of drag. Imagine dragging your hand through some water. If you go with your palm first, you're gonna make a big wake and you're gonna feel a lot of pushback. But if you use the thinner edge of your hand, you're gonna chop through the water a lot easier and make a much smaller wake. So because this ball isn't a sleek streamlined shape, the air can't follow it all the way around. It makes a big giant wake behind it and pulls it back. Now, if only there was some way to mess that big wake up. For fast flow past the large object, the boundary layer becomes churned up or turbulent. This type of flow follows the surface of the sphere better. So the flow travels further around, giving a smaller wake and reduced drag. A golf ball, which is small but fast, is delicately balanced between these two behaviours. A smooth golf ball tends to have the smooth type of boundary layer, resulting in a large wake and high drag. However, dimples disturb the flow just enough to make the boundary layer turbulent, reducing the drag and allowing you to hit the ball further. For a car or train, which are quite fast and very large compared to a golf ball, the boundary layer is turbulent anyway, so dimples have little effect. That's a shame. I'd like to see a dimpled Formula One car, personally. Well, thanks to Sam for that answer, and thanks also to Evan AU and Janice on the forum who came to similar conclusions. Join us next time when we answer this question from a different Sam. If identical twin brothers marry identical twin sisters, and each couple have a child, will those two children be like twins? So what do you think? You can go to thenakedscientist.com slash question, email chris at thenakedscientist.com, find us on Facebook, tweet at Naked Scientists, or join in the debate on the forum, thenakedscientist.com slash forum. Thank you so much for listening, and until next time, goodbye. Goodbye.